Hello everybody. Welcome to Z's Game Corner. No hacks, no cheat. It's hard work, it's smart play, make it a hot bud. And we are back! My name is Aurelius and I... Yes, I've been on vacation, that's why there hasn't been anything going up in my, uh... Fiance's father's place. Yes, met the daddy. Uh, had no internet and I didn't want to risk making poorly <laughs> uh, resolution videos. You know, um, while I was away on a vacation, I had every intention of doing so, but uh, the circumstances just didn't really allow for it. Okay, what's going on? My game just closed. My phone just closed. Oh, I think we're good. Okay, we're back. I don't know. That was weird. I was just checking to make sure we're still recording. Yes, we are still recording. Okay, that just hasn't happened yet. Um, consider by the title and where we're at right now. Um, Shiva training, efficient Shiva training. Um, these three characters I'm using right now, they've already been maxed out. I'm just doing this for the purposes of this. Um, Technically, three different techniques you can use. Uh, it's definitely slower than Ultimate Ifrit, Summon Board Farming, but you know, uh, a mix of these strategies or just use of one should get the job pretty done. I've gotten up to eight runs in a half hour, you know, using uh, any one of these techniques. So the first thing is with Squall up here, just Especially with his rewrite. Oh my gosh, look at this damage. Just do all. Ooh, nastiness. And I've seen people get close to 30k. Yeah, my squad isn't very, uh, broken up. But, um, second strategy, or the first strategy is just mass, uh, group attacker. You know, um, hit them as hard as possible. You know, and both of them at the same time, and it should go relatively well. Second strategy here, um, I'm going to be the poison slash stat strategy. So, characters like Sarah is obviously the best choice between her wound and her EX. Will be able to take care of that, but if you only have one or the other, say you're using characters like. Kefka and his EX, or, you know, Sancred, or Edgar, you know, characters just with poison fat moves, uh, either one will work, um, you really only need one, if you got both, that's even better, but, yeah, uh, and I'll just show you why that's important here, after they take their turn, so, with the Diamond Dust, it's of course, as we all know, it all freezes, you know, in the early stages, the max phrase is about 11k, which translates into 3600 damage to each one of your characters there. Depending on some of these characters' health, you know, their max health even boosted, like, I know I got some characters on the fringe limit, you know, they're like right at 78 or something like that. You know, uh, or 7800, I should say. You know, 7800 health. Uh, yeah, it comes very, very freaking, especially if you're using a character like Dark Paladin Cecil or Renoa or, you know, somebody else. I think those are the two standout ones. I think there might be a couple more that actually bring HP to the past. You know, uh,. So any characters like that, it, it gets super dangerous using them. So I wouldn't suggest bring them for you know the group damage strategy. Although I don't think Dark Caesar Paladin is. And Knockback. Speaking of Dark Caesar Paladin, Knockback is always a viable option in any one of these bosses. But as you saw, as they used their Diamond Dust slash group HP attack, they only did about a thousand damage. So if you run Thera, or if you got you know, uh, somebody in here with HP region on top of the poison stat, you should be in pretty good shape. You know, so like a Sarah slash Ico, 
Tombo or Freya or Pinello, you know, one of those characters, you should be in pretty good shape. Alright, I'll show you why Kafka's here in a second. I'm just gonna brain attack these guys and cut out everything until we can get their bars built back up. And I'll see you guys then. Okay, um, back, um, uh, kind of already got a little wonky here, uh, but as you can see, uh, one of them is fully charged, and I just trined them, uh, so I'll show you why Kafka can be viable tactic for using this, as you guys probably already figured out. You know, um, with this triangle, the whole HP attack blocking thing. Just keep them forever trapped trying to do that move, because every time they do the diamond does, they will come back doing that move. And as you saw, <laughs> uh, the fact that they take so many turns in a row, it could still get hit by it, as you saw there, but you saw it took her two turns to actually launch that HP. You know, um, you do it properly and do it right away. You know, you just keep them forever locked in there. I just didn't do it in this particular situation. Just because I wanted to show off all three strategies, you know, that I've been using. And they're both pretty effective. Or all three of them are pretty effective. Especially, you know, for those of you worrying about the HP factor. Definitely bring Terra, especially if you have her PX. You know, and just keep poison and wounds down on them. And then, um, you know, mass attack, which is my favorite strategy, is to just use wall, wall support. As you see, I got down there and just do major damage. And I think the biggest max brave I've seen with summon is about 47k at that squall support I was using. Uh, <laughs> it was hit maxing that out so 47k to both of them is absolutely ridiculous perfectly fine you know what i'm saying especially if you do have the shiva password but as you see there i just gotta put my 37k with renzo kukin of course he didn't have all this buff actors just because i was just wasting turns to show off the uh hp attack block which I think Kefka moving forward as more of these ultimate summons are coming out. You know, uh, or yeah, not ultimate summons, but these ultimate challenges come out. Uh, I think Kefka will be a very viable thing because with that bar that these enemies have, we're starting to see them in the co-op bosses and EX mission bosses as well. So I think this is just something we can expect to see on a few of the bosses moving forward as the game progresses through the crystal strength 70 era you know which uh if for those guys following the japanese game you know crystal strength 70 is coming now when it comes to shiva summon board it's gonna take about 18k or not 18k good uh, I was training uh, <laughs> uh, lightning earlier on Ifrit, uh, got lightning both of hers maxed out, um, where is my, oh, I'm still on Ifrit for some reason, I forgot to hit confirm, I was like, I knew I left wash somebody, <laughs> for the purposes of this video, um, but yeah, if you're just doing the farming for the chest uh quickest route i found is come across the top here let me hit that batch come across the top here it'll take about 1800 seven point two for shiva to hit all three chests you know um just follow this little chain that i'm going down here uh i think we gotta come down yeah this, this one is just weird i think this supposed to imitate like the wings of shiva or the little flowy veil that she has on or whatever that flowy thing is 
coming off of her in most iterations of Final Fantasy, but yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I am a bit congested and like my chest and throat is just all super icky and my ears haven't completely decompressed from the flight yet either. So, if I sound a little bit different, that's probably why. Anyway, as you see, 1800 points, just follow this little trail, go across the top and down across the bottom to get all three treasure chests to hit the Shiva point. You will need 2100, or not 2100, uh, where's this? I don't know It should be about 2400, 23, there we go. Couldn't remember, it was 20 something hundred. You know, of course, that's on top of the 1500 to uh, actually get the passives. You know, so 48 or 3800 total. Oh my gosh, I don't know where, where these numbers are coming from in my head. Uh, yeah, 3800 total. Just get all the chests and all of Shiva's passives for, for Shiva. You know, and of course, I'm still 6,600 to a max everything out. Um, I think moving forward, just because nobody likes to be not at max HP. So I think moving forward, I'm going to set most of my characters to the Blizzard Resist all in Blizzard Resist. You know, save for characters that do use ice moves like Poplamo and... Celis and Snow, you know, to name a few. Uh, Rim would be a good point, good one too, especially if you got her second 15 CP. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it makes her brave attack an ice move. You know, it becomes a brave attack plus it does ice damage. So, that's always a good thing. Uh, so, definitely do not miss out on that because this is just a major 10% power and on somebody like Poplamo this that will combine with the effort passive well actually no those two can't combine now that I think about it I like I said my my decompressed ear <laughs> my non decompressed ear is just messing my brain all up you know uh, both those cannot be active at the same time unfortunately or no, actually, yeah, with Blizzard powered up, yeah, it should be active because it doesn't require the 80%. So that would stack with if it's attack up, you know, uh, for the ice damage for a total of a 20% benefit, you know, and for characters like Poplamo, 30% bonus, well, 20% bonus on both of his moves, which he desperately needs. Like, I've never seen a Poplar move, you know, reach full max brave without a lot of help with each one of his moves. So, yeah, it's just good. And always get the Shiva evasion up. I know it's only a 10% chance, but if you're getting hit, why not just take that chance to not get hit? I must admit, it saved me a couple of times so far as well. And it was been, uh, don't really use them, so I don't really care. So, Blizzard Resist all. I'm just gonna do the Blizzard Resist. Oh man, anyway, <laughs> freak I shit, it was fun. I had lots of fun seeing a car show out in Monterey. And <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, went out to the boardwalk and everything. Uh, pretty cool. I kind of chilly for you know famous california weather especially in those areas it was just ridiculously cool you know say about 80 85 ish was the highest it got you know while i was out there on vacation so you know and it was all overcasty it rained a couple of days and yeah just not typical weather you see out of california so uh, that was a bit disappointing, but other than that, still had tons of fun. New weekly draw is up, so if you don't have summon board mastery for these three characters, go get it right now. 
Oh, excuse me, my throat is like on fire. Oh, but that is okay. Because we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up with a multi draw. And I do want Lightning EX. I think she has one of the coolest EX moves in. I'll take the 215 CPs. I do need a 35 CP again, too. Because I think I accidentally sold it. Sold it. I know I had both of her weapons that like limit break, too. With every intention of trying to get her MLB, but time passed, needed power stone, and oh my gosh, my throat. <coughs> mm. I'm sorry for all the coughing, y'all. Yeah, I should probably have something to drink with me. I have no agua here with me. Drink water! Old military drill gate is there. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date with content going up on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. You know, uh, you can also follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details will be down there in the description section. You know, and I know I haven't done a lot these past couple of weeks, but, you know, just circumstances with changes in my life on top of this vacation that my fiance had been planning for almost a year now <laughs> you know uh yeah it's just been really hard to do that and see i'm still like i probably shouldn't be recording right now with just the way my voice is like it starts getting very scratchy i'm gonna go get something to drink right after this uh, anyway hope you guys are all having an awesome awesome day and i will see you all later